So look, bro. Um, we got another reaction video. About two, what, three videos ago, I asked y'all, like, bro, y'all let me know on this channel or assist because the females be hitting me up on Instagram. I'm like, you keep on saying, bro, like, females don't watch you, girls. We, we girls gangster nets, too, or whatever. However she said it, it was dope. But like I said, sis, I asked y'all, like, three videos ago, which one y'all want to watch? Oh, we like the bait car. We like the whoopty whoop whoop. And then a lot of them said the court TV ones or the court reaction. I'm like, dog, it's cool, too, so... That's what we here with today. We were one of my favorite uh, uh, judges, which is Judge Joe Brown, because bro, straight from the hood. Sometimes he understand people. Sometimes he get his clown on. Sometimes he get mad. He didn't even went to jail before. Uh, why he was a judge for tripping out on another judge when he had to go to court? Like, oh, bro, be on one sometimes. That's all we got right here, though. I ain't gonna hold y'all no more. This is that reaction. A man's jaw is wired shut after an <coughs> unnecessary toast to the departed. <coughs> student Lazaric Murphy is suing his former friend for medical bills. Defendant Michael Eggleton says he was acting in self-defense. So you snitched on the homie for socking you in the jaw. If you my friend and you would go to the police over a fight, bro, please let me know now so we cannot be friends no more, bro. Only real friends will fight. Just like you growing up as brothers and sisters, y'all going to fight, bro. If I ain't never fought you and we been friends longer than 10 years, you ain't really my friend. <laughs> Straight up. Bust your ass. Right. Now, here's Judge Joe Brown. Young Mr. Murphy, you are suing Mr. Eagleton the guy you looking for at you. <laughs> cautious misconduct and medical expenses. The defendant that accompanied your... Look at this picture right here. Oh, never mind, never mind, my bad, never mind. A friend who was his cousin appeared to be inebriated and for some reason uh, started pouring the contents of a bottle all over your floor. You asked him what he was doing. He became angry and said, it's for my dead homie. <laughs> <laughs> you were... Oh my God, bro. I'm already knowing the light skinned old dog is the one that said it. The one with the heart. <laughs> if y'all don't know what he meant, bro, this happens a lot up in the hood. Um, if you got a homeboy, you got a brother, you got a. It ain't even got to be dead homies. It could be for your brother or whatever. Once they pass away, you pour some liquor out. Even though them niggas didn't drink when they was alive, you still gonna pour the liquor out for them. Like, yeah, that's for the homies. It's just showing a sign of respect, bro. That's why everybody laughing like, bro, really did that shit. Talking to his cousin, you turned around and unexpectedly he sucker punched you and hit you square in the jaw. And you went to the police. And broke your jaw. And you went to the emergency room, winding up eventually having your jaw wired shut for four weeks. Oh, he sucked this shit. Yes, sir. Very intriguing. Yes, it's sir. It's a pleasure to be here, Judge Joe Brown. Kissing right, ass sir. already. And basically, me and Mike, we've been friends for over 10 years. We played sports together. We went I just said that, bro. If we've been friends over 10 years and we ain't fought, we really ain't friends. How can you be that? Look, how can this be your homie for 10 years and he sock you on your jaw? You gonna run and tell the police. With your purple ass shirt. I don't even we like that Went to school shit. together. I got him in college. And, you know, I tried to be a positive influence to him because, you know, I go to school, I got my own crib, got my own car, got a job. And, you know, I tried to show him something different. On this particular day last year, we were chilling at my house. We were supposed to go hook up with some girls. It was me, him, and his cousin. And basically, Michael, he got upset. Well, he wasn't even upset, but he just was playing too much. And he all of a I understand how you feel, bro. You got your jaw wired shut, whatever the case. But not only did you go to the police, now you went to court on TV. <laughs> this ain't a good luck, bro. Ghost, you understand? I do understand. I could see if this was a stranger or something. Not your friend over 10 years. Not all of this, bro. <laughs> so I do understand, but I don't understand what the 
keep doing this for it. You know what I'm saying? saying he, he ended up pouring out. <coughs> I get the impression from what you allege that there was a consumption of alcoholic beverages that was going on. Right. I had some liquor in my refrigerator. But well, you're over 21, so what? You're entitled to. Yes, sir. And basically. He's not, but yes, go ahead. Sir. And basically, he got my lotion or off my kitchen table and he just started pouring on the floor talking about Lotion. this for his dead homies then he got my liquor oh. he started pouring it on the floor i'm thinking now now he disrespecting his dead homies you pouring lotion off for the dead homies bro that's disrespectful at first i thought he was talking about the liquor how you gonna pour you ain't even pouring lotion now you you jugging this it's fucking dead that that don't even seem right. One swig, pull it back, stupid ass. Talk about this is for his dead homies, and I told him to clean it up. He took his time. He act like it wasn't that important. So I felt disrespected. There's a reason for everything, Judge. But let him make his presentation. Go ahead, sir. And Judge Joe Brown, basically, he poured the liquor and the lotion on my floor, said it was for his dead homies. I told him to clean it, clean up his mess. He act like he didn't want to clean up the mess. And I told him that I, was, I wasn't going to go to the girl's house anymore. I wasn't even on it no more because clearly they ha I felt disrespected. So... Now you didn't want to take him over to a lady friends with him. I mean, we like all that. were supposed to see some girls, you know what I'm saying? But I was, I didn't even want to go no more because I'm like, why would you disrespect me and pour, and pour liquor and lotion on my floor? Who does that? You pour uh, liquor on my floor, so I don't want to see the house no take more. Anybody anywhere? So in the midst of me refusing, you pour liquor on my floor, so I don't want to see the hoes no more. That's that don't even sound right, bro. He just in his feelings. Everything's showing me that our boy is feminine in his hell. Ain't no way the homie finna pour liquor on my floor and I don't want to go see the, you know what I'm saying? I don't care if we got down, I'm still finna go see. I'll probably leave, bro, with taking, but I'm not finna, you know what I'm saying? Or oh, I don't want to go try to get me some neck or some cooch because you tripping. You know nah. Purple shirt, police department, court, TV. You a hoe, a hoe. You, you, you a little. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Double fruit. That, that's you, nigga. I'm telling you. Use it. You, all shit. of a sudden, oh. I got assaulted by him. And you then, say you turned around. What happened? Yes, sir. Because mm. I was turned around. I was upset. I was about to go upstairs. And go to sleep. And turned around. He just all of a sudden socked me in my face. He was about to go upstairs. So. Basically, after he right. after he socked me and start a uh, start assaulting me, get your I hands from behind your back. His cousin tried to Why get. Why he acted like he giving his first presentation in elementary school the whole time? He got his hands behind his back, just talking to the judge, and then and then and and that Nick then. I hate your shirt. I promise I do, bro. Get him to leave. Okay. He refused to leave, Your Honor. And basically, he told his cousin, like, if I'm about to go to jail, because his cousin told him, like, look, I got a gun on me. Let's go. Let's just leave. Man, he's snitching up in there for real. Because he yeah, figured, look, I'm holding. Don't get the police up in here right, and get me yes, busted. Sir. But he didn't have one. So anyway. then he told me if I'm going to jail, I might as well go for life. So when I, I went outside, because I didn't have a weapon or nothing to defend myself, and I'm bleeding everywhere, Your <laughs> Honor. And when I go outside, I just happened to see the police. They was coming up. No! And he fled the no! Oh, you flagged the police down. <laughs> is there, come on, where is this at? By the way, oh boy, look, they gotta be up in LA somewhere. They gotta be Cali somewhere, bro. You been to tell me you ran out the house, officer? I, like flag the police down, bro. I'm thinking you went down to the. You got your wife. This, this, this is what I got in my mind. Y'all get into it over the law shit. Bro, sock you in your chin. You go to the hospital. Get your jaw wired. After you cool, you go to the police department. Tell them who did it. You know what I'm saying? He didn't go to jail. They probably like, it was just probably a friend or friend fight or whatever the case. If you want your money, go to court. You like cool. Let's go to court. This the whole thing I'm thinking. But you got socked while your jaw was... If you ain't even make it to the hospital. You flag the police down. You flag the police down. That's... That's a cold.
cousin That's ended up coming bitch. here. The ambulance <laughs> came. They told me that my jaw wasn't broken. Just put a hot pack on my face. Okay. Oh, you went to the emergency yeah, room. Yeah, we don't want to hear it. Report right. reflects yeah, that up. in fact it was fractured, and yes, you had sir, to get it wired my shut. <laughs> Pass up your medical. And I have my evidence. Et cetera, et cetera. This boy. And I have a get your hand from behind your chest. back, bro. Well, there's even an x ray that shows what happened and some description from the this dude hospital is about what the injury was all about. All right. So it was the wires and a number of other such things. Did you miss any time off from work? No, sir. You went to work anyway. Let's say you are a major in psychology and you are assisting the direction of the work-study program at your college, right? Yes, All Your right. Honor. Thank you. Let's go to the defense. Let's see what Pro got have to the say. Floor. <clears throat> well, like he said, we was in college. I mean, Yeah, so. but you dropped out and you're unemployed. Nah. He's employed. See, Judge Joe Brown coming off offensive already, bro. Give him his time. All he said was, like he said, we was in college. Oh, and you dropped out and you're unemployed. Don't try to do him like that, you 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 pumpkin face. You know what I'm saying? Hard and still Stop matriculating me, in college. I'm in college, like I said, anyways. You no, know you me? list your like occupation said, as unemployed. You know yeah, unemployed. Yeah, I'm a student. Right. Well, you yeah. don't list yeah. student either. You aren't going okay. right now. Anyways. Like man, it's, it's not in the, the middle story. of a school semester, like but you, you withdrew. I'm story, man. You feel me? We was in college. You know oh, you don't talk over he me. Go ahead. Own, he got his own crib. You know what I mean? So I was paying him to stay with him. You know what I'm saying? My little cousin came over. You feel me? And we little. You know what I'm saying? Just how little animals is. They want to play you and stuff. You went to college you and you're talking so, yeah, like you know that. Why are you trying to so, act like a hood rat? It don't matter. You feel me? Well, we was playing anyways. <laughs> What's your problem? Are you trying to perpetrate? We was Yo, bro. Come on, bro. Your nephews talk like that. Your cousins talk like that. You straight from the hood. You can't call nobody no hood rat, bro. This is what I tell all my sisters all the time. I used to see it when I was at work. I seen my aunties do it and I seen my mamas do it. My mamas. I seen my mama do it. And it's a group of my, the ghost, it's a group of females on here. And I'm talking about black females in general. And I don't care what y'all say. It's a few of y'all, more than a few, probably 60, 70% of y'all. If y'all at work or y'all getting on a serious phone call, y'all get on there with what they call the white boys. Hey, how you doing? Y'all we'll get on there. What's up, girl? What's up? Whoa, 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 whoa. Y'all don't get on there like that because you feel like you got to change your voice for these people, bro. You don't have to. That's why I used to get mad at my baby mama and my sisters and all that for doing that. Because I promise you, and mind you, I rock with white people too. You know what I'm saying? They my fans, dude. They got me popping. But best believe, they not finna get on no phone call. Look, no phone call. Be like, what's up, bro? Hey, what's cracking today, my nigga? Whoa, 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 whoa. They not finna change it up and sound like us. So why the fuck we getting on the phone trying to sound like them? Y'all let me know that, bro. Judge Joe Brown bleeding him with how he talking up in court. He talk like that at home. He probably feel comfortable because he in front of a black judge. Bro, don't call him no hood, rat. You tripped. You were on hood, right? me, so You talking over me. Right. You see, there's one difference. I'm not him. <laughs> Everybody already when against, bro. you start going for bad, let me tell you Everybody something. Everybody already See, against you. you cold-cocked him, you sucker punched him. Yeah, win, lose, or draw. Yeah, I fight. Yeah. I'm trying to help exactly. you out so somebody doesn't kill your right. fool self. And, you try to, and I'm See, trying to let's try this. Story. You got a cloud of death hanging over your head because you've been failing. Somebody right. tried to get your tax. On the other hand, this dude right here is a hothead, bro. I can see it from a mile away. You know what I'm saying? He don't want to hear nothing. He feel like he right, he young. When you young, he you thugging. I can tell by his chest chain call something. He feel like he's somebody. He probably is somebody. Bro is a high head, but at the same time, Judge Joe Brown, you you, <clears throat> you don't give a fuck about me, but you might want to listen to me, bro. You need to ease back. These is your people. Too. He so had self well, off in college, really? and you running around here trying to perpetrate that you're so an ignorant well. hood rat that got as far as college, but you can't talk anymore. How he can't talk no more, that's what you know. You're trying to talk about my dead homies. See, that doesn't bother right. me because, and excuse me. You listen to his side of the story, but you excuse didn't me. listen to my side exactly. of the story. You hit him. You hit him. What's your excuse for hitting him? Hmm? 
What's your excuse My to excuse hit for hitting him is because he put his hands on me first, sir. Yeah. He was telling me. Well, he, he had a right to he was take physically. hands upon I told him him I was throw leaving the dog his behind house. out the front door. I told him I was That's leaving That's where the bounce it up. I told him I was leaving his house, you know what I'm saying? He tried to push me out, literally, you know what I'm saying? I'd so, have thrown you out. Right. And then, you know what I'm saying, I would have came back and you would have dealt with it. That's I'm trying, to, I'm trying to keep Freedom you from seats. dying, foolish yeah. one. I don't care about dying, sir. You feel me? That's one thing about me and you. You probably care. I don't care. Oh. We'll be right back. With what what can you say if somebody do say that, He put bro. his hands on me, trying to put me out his house. And, you feel me? I didn't never say that I hit the dude. We bro said, talking I just about don't care. Casey. You talking about me. You, you hit me? him. But I ain't the one walking around with a dress on. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> Jack you up. <laughs> you said you hit him. He said, you said he put said hands on that. me. He could you have, you that. were unruly, he could eject you. That's what he did. You said that so I you hit, hit him. him. I never said that I hit the dude, you feel me? Know what I'm saying? He put his hands on me, trying to put me out his house and shit, you feel me? I didn't never say that I hit the dude. We supposed to be talking about the case and you talking about me. You, you hit him. Me? Right. Well, I ain't the one walking around with a dress on, you feel me? So, I mean, <laughs> oh, nah, man, we're going there. you feel me? Well, okay, <laughs> let's take what you got on. I do. First time I saw that. You've been listening to your 14-year-old aunt talk about she wants bling. What's a man need jewelry for? What's on your finger? Long... What's on your finger? Well, look, my man. Yeah, yeah. That is a wedding ring. It means right, I have still, a wife. It means I, know, I, know. I don't yeah. have any problems. So you are not that tough. But you see the bar. One thing old boy know. Is that he lost his case? That's why he going in and he talking like you ain't got no jewelry. You got on the dress and woo woo woo. But I remember days. I swear to God, that was me up in ninth grade. As small as bro, as small as I was, I was wearing a seven X tall, long sleeve all the way down. That was just the style back then, bro. And Judge Joe Brown again. You know your nephews and your cousins dress like that. Stop playing. Bottom line is this. These young boys are so desperately in need of men to give them man training. You don't talk about like like you know who my parents are. Oh, I like know you. you. Grew up I can people. see you. How Man, many thousands playing, of man. you do you think I have not seen? Man. So what makes you any different from the other thug That's idiots word, trying to man. perpetrate their men? See, you can't even stand up straight. You gonna... Because it's not even a case no more, it's about yeah, me. so you, you want to move your head? Yeah, it's, it's a case. It's, it's I'm not just even deciding case how much no punitive more. damages I'm going to hit you with. Yeah. <laughs> Jack you up. And your and feelings. You run around here talking about what you can live off of and you have no job, you're not in school. No matter what Judge Joe Brown said, you doing this, you doing all that, look how you dress, whatever the case. He got him up off his chair and sitting on a little bench thing. He got you riled up and then your feelings about something, bro. You know what I'm saying? I rock with the judge, but this one right here was kind of a little cringy to me. America look at the light-skinned dude with the dude with the blue shirt as enemy number one. I don't. I know who he is. I don't care how he dress. I don't care how he talk. He's still a regular motherfucker just like me and you. It's just that when you raised in an environment, you're going to act like that environment. If you raised your mama's a banker and your daddy a lawyer, you're going to act like them. You in Calabasas. But if you raised on the corner of Sloss and the Crenshaw right there on the corner of what Nigga, you going to act like that, bro. Straight up. You have all that women's jewelry hung around your neck because in your subconscious when you weren't but five or six and nobody has seen a man in four or five generations and if you ask your mother why, uh, why don't you, you need a man to help raise me? I don't understand, Judge. What's good's a man for? Well, there you go, little lady. You don't even know what he's supposed to be good for. See, you know me, he's doing to too much. Shut up. <laughs> nobody needs to understand. Shut up. Fall through the cracks. You running around acting like a hood rat trying to talk about libation to my dead homies. Wait until we get on to the case, man. You feel me? Yeah, no case. You've already done me. it. Hit the guy with it. Yeah. You feel me? Because I'm finna walk out, man. You can't control exactly. yourself. So he's uh, got the... You're his best witness. You can't control yourself. You're not man enough to control yourself. You played punk and you sucker punched him. If it'd been a fair fight and bigger than you, might have whipped your butt. 
He don't Remember, think you so. both played athletics together. So. That means he's got he as much going so. as you do so. in that Come department. On, See, you punked out and sucker punching because you don't know what in the hell a fair fight is. And you know what I'm saying? 3,000 in your cost. Like Get this punk hey. out of my face. He's illustrated his punkness well enough. Bye. This courtroom is now in uh, It was clear the defendant wanted to be felt, but he was so disrespectful, it was hard to relate to his dilemma and his like efforts to though. honor his deceased friends. He'll pay. Come on, Judge. You die. I'm, like I said, bro, Judge Joe Brown, I respect him because he's doing something that's positive, but at the same time, the disrespect be on a whole nother level with, bro. Like, like a whole nother level. What the hell happened right here? Yeah, they just paid a second. I don't know what this one is, but it look good, though. <laughs> Be real with y'all. But other than that, man, I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. Um, yeah, y'all stay safe. Y'all stay out the way. I'm out of here, man. DJ Ghost 100.